together over the last 1,200 years, and today, Flogging is proud to be part of that history. And now that the good people of Hereford are safely seated inside, let's see what they brought in. Our first item is a simple silver case. <laughs> Controversial past. I must say, I, I noticed you straight away in the queue because you have got a very distinctive beard. It's a wonderful beard. Congratulations. Thank you very much. What's your name? My name is Johnny Crow. Johnny Crow? Adam Partridge. The Bird family. The Bird family. We were destined to meet, weren't we, sir? And uh, I think what you've got here is something that us birds won't like. That's right. Because it's to do with shooting. It's to do with killing. It's to do with shooting birds. That's right. At first glance, it looks like a Vesta case, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Um, but it hasn't got the um, ribbed bottom. And you open it up there. And um, and inside, if we tip them out. We will. You've got these ivory tabs. It's, they, it's called a butt marker, isn't it? That's right. And each one of these tabs is numbered from one to eight. I'll leave the others in the middle there. Uh, you're missing number two. two. Missing number two. So do you know how this would have worked? I think um, if, you, if you were on a shoot or an organised shooting party, uh, obviously there are stands set up for where you're going to shoot from. Yeah. And I think you just draw, your, you draw a peg or the, uh, the, piece, the piece of ivory and whichever number you draw, is corresponding to where you stand with the gun. That's how I've understood it. So it's effectively drawing straws for where you're going to shoot. That's from. right. Yeah. Um, how did you come to find it? I found it thir oh, oh, well over 30 years ago, in the, in the early 80s. I was having a wander through a wood. I just spotted this in a clump of grass. Never. Shining. Picked it up. Thought, oh, I found a Zippo lighter because yeah. it's a small Zippo lighter. So that's what it looked like to me. Stuck it in my pocket, <laughs> took it out, stuck it in a drawer. For 20 odd years, didn't know what really? it was. Well, that's so a great I thought, well, story. I'll keep hold of it because it's not eating anything. <laughs> and one day, I'm, you know, I might be short of a few bob. Who knows? You've got Where the mark there for um, William Hornby, the manufacturer, yeah. um, which is a London Hallmark. You've looked the date up? Um, I am personally, no, but I've been told it's 1900. 1900, bang yeah. on, yeah. yeah. So, uh, and these are ivory tabs in there. Mm -hmm. uh, missing number two, that yeah. does affect the value quite a lot. I think it's worth five hundred pounds, but but number yeah. two. And yeah. in order to get people bidding at That's it, right. I think I would suggest putting it in quite a lot lower. Yeah. My idea would be two to three hundred pounds. Yeah. Yeah. You still alright with That's that? That's fine. It's a, a sort of a come and buy me. Yeah, it's a come yeah. and buy me. You watch the show a lot. I certainly do. Ah, bid. So is that all right? That's two to three hundred. And then if it goes and makes five hundred quid, what are you going to do with it? I'm going to spend it. On what? Wine, women, and song. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been a great pleasure talking to you from, from one bird to another. Uh, I'm really looking forward to this flying at the auction. Oh. If this piece of worked ivory was made after 1947, it would be illegal to sell due to the ivory laws. But as it was made in 1900, we can safely take it off to auction for Birdman Johnny Crow. Christina, take it with us. Well, Alex is... Alright. And who could resist the Hosner bass guitar clip? Alright, you just sound good. <laughs> Being a country auctioneer. Mm. <laughs> what is it? Because you can't wait past it. Alright. <laughs> Yeah, you've gone way back now. <laughs> you, I thought it was after that. It's what after this. this. It's now, it? you go past it. No, that was the intro of what's going on next, was it? Is it? Oh, right, okay, go on. So it was after that last like, sound, I can't be hearing. Am I recording? Oh, fucking nothing, can't. Let me know.